When you were at the Reds at this point, you were playing the Phillies this game. You step into the batter box and you're shocked because the catcher is telling you the pitches the pitcher is well, going Grant. to throw. Yeah, Mike Grant. Well, what, what happened is uh, uh, even, my, even my career statistics, uh, I think I had my highest career batting average either against Atlanta or Philadelphia, 340-something, which is you know real good to hit one team when you play so many times. And Gene Mock would do anything to try to get in your head. So I come up and I hit the place, hey, Mike, how you doing? Mike Ryan uh, catching for the Phillies. He said, Mock told me to tell you what's coming. So he said, here comes curveball. He throws me, I wasn't a guest hitter. I went for fastball. And Shag's umpiring, Shag Crawford. And he told me about four or five pitches in a row. And I said, Shag, we time to shut up. I don't need any help with this team. You know, because he's getting me confused. And Shag said, he's not doing anything against the rules. I can't, what am I, what's, what am I supposed to say? So the first three times up, I mean, he told me every pitch. I mean, I didn't know whether to wind my ass or scratch my watch. I was mixed up, okay? And I'm swinging, the, you know, I'm doing this, doing that. So there's a fourth time up, it's a tie game, one to one, is a man up first, two, two outs. He said, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. So I stepped down and said, I'm gonna look for a curveball. So I got back and he said, I'm still gonna throw you that curveball. And I hit it off the scoreboard. Okay, and we won the game two to one. Now the next day we got a little pregame rain, so we didn't get any batting practice. So I'm leading off the game again. I come up and I hit the plate and I look back at Mike. And uh, he was up to me and said, Mock told me to tell you to go screw yourself. And Mock's over there going like this. But he tried to get in my head, and he did for three at-bats. But that's, we had fun that way. I mean, this, I knew what he was trying to do. And, uh, you know, it's like you're, you're sitting there and you're hitting and you're looking for a fastball, and a guy's saying, well, here comes a curve, here comes a slider. You don't know if he's lying or not. And it's, be quiet. I mean, I don't want to know. You know, I, I'm not going to put, like, horses sure. and put cotton in my ear where I can't hear. So it's just gamemanship, I guess you'd call it. You mentioned the umpire, Shag Crawford. You had another experience with him. One time you're walking up to the plate and you see him crouched well, over this saying is, this you is looked over, like he was in pretty This was over pain, in right? Cincinnati. I mean, this is over in Cincinnati. And, and, and I come up the second time up, and it's 98 in the shade, humidity is 96. And Shag is... I mean, he's as white as a ghost. And uh, Shag is down on one knee, and I said, Shag, you all right? He said, just swing the bat. I said, what? He said, I don't care if he rolls it up there. I'm calling strikes. I said, Shag, what's the problem? He said, say again. He stinks, he's belching, he's farting, and it's all staying at home plate. And Shag was so sick. It was the fastest game I ever played in an hour 48 minutes. Really? <laughs> yeah. He told everybody, swing the bat. <laughs> so it couldn't happen today because of all the commercials. But Shag said, swing that bat. I don't care if he rolls it up there. He's calling strikes.